Many fans think shonen is the only best genre when it comes to anime, but there are many anime genres that are not mainstream and less popular among fans but have great character development and amazing as well as complex storylines. Yuri is not like most of your girl-on-girl -girl action stereotype, but they are very much like all other romantic and ecchi anime. If you're new to this genre, Yuri anime focuses on the emotional and sometimes sexual aspects of the relationship between two women. Some people are into it because they think it's sexy, but most enjoy good Yuri anime because there are some genuinely deep stories within these shows. If you enjoy this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe. This is ES Anime and now, let's start the list. At number 10 we have Adaki and Shimamura. Somewhere in the school at noon, one might hear the sound of two girls playing table tennis together as they wait for time to pass by. As if by fate, two students, Sakura Adaki and Hugetsu Shimamura, stumble upon each other on the second floor of the school gymnasium. As they gradually foster a budding friendship, their feelings for one another only become more ambiguous. Growing closer by the day, the two must learn to navigate their contrasting personalities as well as determine the depth of their affection for each other. The nature of this relationship gradually shifts when one of them starts to develop feelings beyond the boundaries of a platonic relationship. Even so, Adaki and Shimamura must realize if forming a bond stronger than friendship will bring them closer or tear them apart. The anime is super casual and relaxed, it develops slowly with casual interactions between two female friends. The thing I really liked about this anime is its good sound. Overall sound really matches with the scenes and story development. The other thing that is really good is its beautiful art and animation. The visuals are really stunning and overall anime is a visual treat. At number 9 we have Strawberry Panic. Aoi Nagisa, a young redhead, has just been transferred to a Catholic school for girls, Strawberry Dorms. The school is divided into three sections, Lulam, Meator, Spica, all of which have their own president, uniforms, and activities. Assigned to Meator, Nagisa attracts the attention of the entire school through a series of incidents involving the student A. Twal, representative of the three parts of the school, Shizuma, a long silver-haired beauty who is the idol of all the other girls. Nagisa and Shizuma begin to fall in love, but a love triangle slowly breaks out. Soon Nagisa discovers a sad secret from Shizuma's recent past that will bring them even closer. At number 8 we have Sakura Trick. Having been best friends since middle school, Haruka Takayama and Yu Sonoda plan to attend Misato West High School together. However, despite being assigned to the same class, a cruel twist of fate has them seated on the opposite ends of their classroom. To make matters worse, their school will shut down in three years, making them the final intake of first-year students. Undeterred by this chain of unfortunate events, Haruka is set on sticking with Yu, striving to create many wonderful memories with her. Much to Haruka's jealousy however, Yu's easy-going demeanor quickly attracts the attention of their female classmates. Sympathizing with her friend's growing insecurity, Yu ends up sharing a deep, affectionate kiss with her in an empty classroom. The act intensifies their bond as special friends, gradually revealing a different aspect to their unique friendship while also inviting new conflicts. At number 7 we have Yuru Yuri. After a year in elementary school without her childhood friends, first-year student Akari Akaza finally reunites with second-year Yui Funami and Kyoko Toshino at girls' high school. During the duo's first year, Yui and Kyoko formed the amusement club that occupies the room of the now non-existent tea club. Shortly after Akari joins in, one of her classmates, Chinatsu Yoshikawa, pays a visit to the trio under the impression that they are the tea club. Only once the three girls explain that the tea club has been disbanded can they convince Chinatsu to join the amusement club, a group with no other purpose than to provide entertainment for its members. Based on the manga of Namori's life, Yuru Yuri is an eccentric comedy about a group of girls who spend their free time drinking tea and praising each other, without even realizing the supposed main character Akari among them. At number 6 we have Valkyrie Drive, Mermaid. Naive 16-year-old Mamori Tokonome is accustomed to being teased at school for having an unfortunate surname that can also be read as, Virgin. However, young Mamori will soon have to get used to being teased in other ways. Kidnapped during gym class, Mamori wakes up only to find herself stranded and under attack on the exotic island of Mermaid. 
Luckily, enigmatic fellow castaway Mirei Shikishima knows exactly how to take the lead, through a passionate kiss, Mirei unleashes Mamori's extra transformation abilities, turning the innocent red head into a battle-ready cutlass through the power of arousal. The duo will need to tap into that power as Mermaid Island is full of potential friends and foes. Charlotte, the sadistic liberator of an extra harem, the gluttonous and crafty Meifon, the mysterious but charismatic Akira Hiragi, and the erotic biker duo Lady Lady. Mamori and Mirei's powerful and intimate embrace is the only way for the pair to ensure their survival on this scandalous island. At number 5 we have whispered words. Sumika Murasama is not a cute girl. Nicknamed, Violence Murasama, by her peers, the tall and imposing Sumika shows little signs of femininity. And unfortunately for Sumika, her best friend and crush, Yushio Kazama, only likes cute girls. Yushio loves to gush about her endless crushes, completely oblivious to Sumika's feelings. During their first year of high school, Sumika and Yushio encounter Tomo Hachisuka and Miyako Tamei, two other girls of a similar orientation. Desiring to start a club for girl-loving girls, the group attempts to find a fifth member and get their club approved. Though Sumika has some reservations about the purpose of the club, she recognizes this as an opportunity to get closer to Yushio and resolve her unrequited love. At number 4 we have Bloom Into You. Yu has always loved shouju manga and looks forward to the day when she gets a confession of love that makes her heart flutter with bubbles and blushes, and yet when a high school classmate confesses his feelings to her, she feels nothing. Disappointed and confused, Yu enters high school still not knowing how to respond. That's when Yu sees the beautiful student council president Nanami reject a suitor so maturely that she is inspired to ask him for help. But when the next person to confess to Yu is Nanami herself. Has your shouju romance finally started? I really loved both characters Yu and Nanami. The way love springs B, W them was really beautiful. Some of you might think it is boring and show because it is not meant to be a romantic show, it explores the complexities in the love. The animation is smooth and modern, visuals and romantic scenes are beautifully created. You will love the background sounds in the key moments, as they are soft, elegant, and perfect for that particular scene. The opening song is really awesome and it's better than the ending song. If you want to try something new in the romance genre, then try Bloom Into You. At number 3 we have Sweet Blue Flowers. The story centers on Fumi Manjom, a high school lesbian girl, and her close childhood friend Akira Okudera, who tries to keep her friends happy during difficult times. When Shimura was writing her manga Danika Naruhibi, she became interested in a story between girls, which led her to create Sweet Blue Flowers. While she felt that the story should focus on girls for Yuri's works, Shishimura also wanted to introduce some men, as she thought she would add an interesting aspect to the series. At number 2 we have Puella Magi Madoka Magica. One night, 14-year-old Madoka Konami has a terrible nightmare. Against the backdrop of a devastated city, she sees a girl fight a losing battle against a hideous being that lives above, while a magical cat-shaped creature tells her tells Madoka the only way to do it. Changing that tragic outcome is for her to make a contract with him and become a magical girl. The next day, the teenage girl's dream seemingly comes true when the girl she saw in her dream, Homura, arrives at Mitakihara High School as a transfer student, mysteriously warning Madoka to stay the way she is. But when she and her best friend Sayaka later encounter the same magical cat-shaped creature from their dream, posing as QB, the pair discover that magical girls are real and what's more, they can choose to become one. All they have to do is sign a contract with QB and agree to take on the duty of fighting abstract beings called, witches, who spread despair to the human world and in return, each of them will be granted whatever wishes they wish. However, as Homura's omen suggests, there may be a lot more to becoming a magical girl than Madoka and Sayaka realize. At number 1 we have revolutionary girl Utina. This series is about a girl named Utina who was helped through a difficult time by a handsome prince. She was so impressed with him that she vowed to become a prince herself. She attends boarding school where she stands out for her gender-bending style and her boyish uniform and she befriends other students at school, most notably a strangely submissive Indian girl named Anthe. When one of her friends is publicly humiliated by the person she likes, Utina protests and the boy calls her to a duel in a strange arena. 
With some difficulty, she wins and discovers that Anthe is now engaged to her as the Pink Bride, which is the key to a world revolution. She now is forced to fight Anthe's repeated challenges, she faces similar rivalries in her personal life and tries to help Anthe gain some will of her own. Meanwhile, the duels she must fight from her led her to a goal of world revolution that has implications that she is not yet aware of. This anime is undoubtedly on the top of the Yuri genre. The art is a bit heavy and old compared to many Yuri anime in this list, but it does justice to the time period it was created in. The best thing about this anime is how beautifully the storyline is executed, I mean every character and incident has a different layer to it. The other thing I really enjoyed was its upbeat music. While the music is beautiful, the translation of the lyrics doesn't make any sense. Anyway, it was one of the very first anime exploring this genre, I would highly suggest you check it out. Well, that's it for the list. If you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also check out my other videos. Bye.